you are watching electrical engineering lectures channel for more videos please do like subscribe and hit the bell icon for the latest notifications hi viewers welcome to electrical lectures youtube channel in this tutorial i will be telling you the major differences between fir and iir filters in signal processing this is a very fundamental and key concept that is usually part of the employment and graduate studies exams and interviews so let us start first of all let me tell you what fir and iir stand for fir stands for finite impulse response whereas iir stands for infinite impulse response so the first difference is related with their names in case of fir filter impulse response has finite length it means it contains finite number of samples whereas in iir filter impulse response has infinite length which means that it contains infinite number of samples the second difference is related with the transfer function of the filter in case of fir filter the transfer function contains only numerator which means that there are no poles in fir filter or we can also say that there are only zeros in case of fir filter so we can say that fir filter is always an, an all zero filter whereas in case of iir filter the transfer function can contain both the numerator and denominator or it can only contain denominator so if it only contains denominator in that particular case this iir filter is an all pole filter whereas if the transfer function contains both the numerator and denominator then the iir filter is a pole zero mix filter which means that an iir filter can contain both the poles and zeros or it can be only an all pole filter the third difference is the consequence of the second point which means that since fir filter is an all zero filter it means that each fir filter is inherently stable because there are no poles and the stability of the system is related with the location of the poles and in case of fir filter there are no poles and there are only zeros due to this reason fir filter is always inherently stable so there is no question of stability in case of fir filter whereas in case of iir filter because it can contain both the poles and zeros or it can be an all pole filter in both the cases it is containing the poles so an iir filter can be stable or unstable depending on the location of poles if we are talking about discrete time iir filter then if the poles are located inside the unit circle then the iir filter will be stable and if we are talking about continuous time iir filter then if the poles are located on the left hand side of the y axis it means that iir filter will be stable for both the cases i am assuming that the system is causal the next difference is related with the implementation of the filters fir filter is always implemented using convolution integral or convolution sum in case of discrete time fir filter it is implemented by convolution sum and in case of continuous time fir filter it is implemented by using convolution integral whereas in case of iir filter there is no concept of implementation using convolution an iir filter is rather implemented by using difference equation in case of discrete time system or differential equation in case of continuous time system since fir filter is an all zero filter and it only contains numerator in the transfer function which means in the difference equation there are only delayed terms of the input due to this reason fir filter is a non recursive system so there is no feedback or the delayed samples of the output in case of fir filter whereas in case of iir filter because the transfer function can contain both the numerator and denominator or it can only contain denominator so for both the cases it is containing denominator due to this reason in the difference equation of iir filter there are always at least one delayed sample of the output therefore 
IIR filter is always a recursive system and it contains feedback. This property is also related with the stability of IIR filter that because in case of IIR filter there is a feedback so there is a question of stability whereas in case of FIR filter since there is no feedback so there is no question of stability it is always stable. The sixth and the last property is regarding the naming convention of these two filters. FIR filter is termed as moving average system because it is only computing the average of the input samples. Whereas the IIR filter can be autoregressive if it contains only denominator or it can also be uh, named as autoregressive moving average or ARMA system if it is containing both the numerator and denominator. So in this tutorial, I have told you in a nutshell what are the major differences between FIR and IIR filters. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned to our channel Electrical Lectures.